Welcome to the Old Time Mime Radio Hour, where you get up-to-date news of the mime world. We've got reporter Bobo the Mime standing by at the Freaky Flyers race. Bobo, how are the Marcel Morceau brothers doing in the race so far? Well, Bobo is pretending to be caught in a box. But apparently, the Marcel Morceau brothers are off to the next leg of the race, Chicago. Welcome back to the Old Time Mime Radio Hour. We have an urgent late-breaking news bulletin from a port of Bobo the Mime. Bobo is miming that Professor Gutentag has been foiled in his plans to... To what? To push? To push, to squeeze? To make smaller? To to shrink? To shrink? Huh? All the, the freaky, the fruky, fracky, fruky, fruky flyers, freaky flyers. He was going to die. Die? 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 Divert? Divert? Huh? Is a race into a human booby. A human... A human body? <laughs> Whew. Thanks, Bobo. That was some down good miming. And good job, boys. Welcome back to the Old Time Mime Radio Hour for more of the latest news and information from the world of mime. Our biggest story tonight is the Marcel Morceau Brothers' big victory in the Freaky Flyers race Danger Island. Now over to our mime on the scene, Bobo. Bobo is pretending to walk against the wind. Uh, not sure what that means, but the Marcel Morceau Brothers are off to the next leg of the race, Germany. Welcome back to the Old Time Mime Radio Hour, and congratulations to the Marcel Marceau brothers for winning the Freaky Flyers race and finding their mother. And now to our correspondent, Bobo the Mime. Bobo has nothing to say. Typical. <laughs> 